Good day, John. Is it good? It's a bit rainy. Well, I've had a bit of a long sleep, you see. Oh, right, okay. Um, For many, many millennia. Right, okay. Um, we are some way in the future. Was it like you were in a sort of stasis? It could be something like that. Um, right. It was a good day. Um, but when I went to when I went to sleep, everyone was around. Um, I've woken up from my my slumber, and things have gone to shit. Uh, have you found yourself in some sort of post-apocalyptic dystopian wasteland? No, no, oh. I haven't. I found myself in some kind of future abandoned space station. Right. Okay. Um, we're going for. It was going to be one of the two, wasn't well, it? Well, yeah course it is uh but like this is stasis um regular listen listeners of the podcast will know i gave this my game of the week um the other week well depends on when you listen to this might have been last year depends when you're listening i suppose um and if you're not listening then go to gamestyle.com and look for brad and john's game reviews because it's good um, but yeah, anyway, this is Stasis. I've uh, loaded this up on another, another profile of mine and started again um, to try does, and avoid. Um, does she mind you playing with it? What, her profile? Yeah, is she okay with you playing her game? Yeah, no, this is mine. She won't play this. Right, okay. Because um, but... I know Stacy can be pretty fussy sometimes. And... Oh, I see where you're going. I actually loaded it up on um, my partner's profile. But there oh. we go. Um, so I thought he was actually making an actual reference to with my partner with mind. No. Um, no, I don't know a Stacey. Well, I do, but not in the context of this. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So I've, I've gone close to the beginning again, um, so as to avoid any spoilers. Um, so we'll just continue the game where we left off. Oh, um, it's a bit... Um, it's like Shadowrun meets Mortal Kombat. <laughs> meets aliens it looks sort of um, a little bit like digitised graphics kind of it is, it's kind of got this um, old school I suppose filter over it right. um, we've just gone down the level here um, and if I remember correctly there's not much we can actually do here because the doors are all locked um, have a look, we've got a wet dirty towel we've got a shard of glass a hypodermic syringe and we've got a high speed neural drill because that's the vitals to surviving in space you see right um yeah but basically i mean it's a it's a point and click rpg type thing um you get obviously your inventory um which makes it an adventure game as well um and this is fairly near the beginning let's go away from that and if i've got to remember where i am on this because i started this uh, a few days ago um, and we've just been storage. Let's go to. This looks like it's going to be very slow paced. It is a slow paced game, um, but it's also a very good game. Um, we seem to have no sound, so bear with me. Let's um. Bring the volume up a bit. Yeah. Where we was right there we go we've got a bit of sound now you're is in this me? game john it is you i don't remember any of this well you was in stasis right okay that'll be that'll be why nice to know in space we still have elevator music attention service platform one Please check in with the duty officer before mm. engaging with any products. Right. So you can play portal in here. Right. Or portal. Or yeah. portal. They haven't got any portal two yet. No, no, they were just right. big fans of the original portal. They thought portal two went too far. Um, but anyway, we can have a little look around. Um, there you go. It gives you just descriptions as it does. It's got a single bed. Surrounded by life support, and I bet is if we this, say that. Is this where the people sleep when they're in their aforementioned stasis? No. No, oh. it's not. Um, you was, I was in a little room, and I was in 
what look like. Do you know the Matrix tubes? Where they give you proper birth. Right. Yeah, kind of in something probably. like that, loads of liquid around you, and for whatever reason, yours is broke. No, I don't want the menu. Oh, go away. Oops, no, what have I done here? I've clicked off. There we go, I've clicked off. Nope, doesn't like me here at the moment. Hang on. There we go, right. Ooh, is there any way to uh, speed her movement up, or his movement up, or anything like that? You mean, double click? Oh, right. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's better. So we can look, it's a closed body bag, let's have a look in the closed body bag. That guy's got something shiny on him though, you, you must want that shiny thing. Oh god, I need to get to Rebecca. He's seen all the dead bodies, let's open up dead bodies first. And then we'll go and grab the shiny thing. What? Um, oh dear. Oh, that he's gone on top of the shiny thing now. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, security holograms are still um, working. What's going on then? What are you trying to do? At the moment, we don't know what's going on. Um, we have just awoken and we're trying to work things out. Um, so we're getting some information on what was there. Was, uh, oh, there's people. lots of uh, lots of logs for you to read through and find yeah. out what's going on. Is there? Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of this is just contextual, canon stuff. Um, Doctor Isaacs, um, which I swear is a reference to um, Dead Space. All oh, right. Yeah. Um. Blah blah blah. Yeah, a lot of this is. I mean, it does get fill you in when you're doing stuff. It does kind of fill you in on what you're doing. That's a bit much. You don't you don't need that when you're playing, do you? <laughs> um. So she's leaving these entries on the PDA. So that if she disappear, he sh she disappears. Um, you know that you've got to help. Um, right. So guess what we've got to do? Help. Let's see. Is there any more of these? I want. The shiny thing now. That was that. That was the PDF. Oh, was it? Yeah, Why it's just showing there? because it. She's left. You've left it on her body. Oh. Um, couple of little annoying things. I don't know why you had to walk around. I mean, this is very much like every single point-and-click adventure game I have ever seen. Really, it's got all the same sort of movement quirks and having to engineer your mouse clicks in yeah. certain convoluted ways to get somewhere where it should be simple to get to. Yeah, but it'll work. Now we've got an electronic toe. This isn't tape. going to work. Yes, you say that a lot when you click around. I was wondering if we could pick stuff up. Let's go into the biometric terminal. I wonder what we could use here. Attention. Biometric handprint not recognised. The mortuary requires level oh, five So you're going to need access. to get a security card to get in there, aren't you? And other incredibly dated gameplay mechanics. I don't want to do that. I want to use... Hmm. Ah! Trying to cut some bodies open. I was. Um... Attention. No, no. Biometric hand oh, you to cut his hand off, didn't you? The mortuary oh, I requires did. level that five security there. access. Let's head back. Uh, because there's always stuff to do. Got a couple of floors to look around. But yes, we need a hand from somewhere. I do keep forgetting to run, actually. I like the atmosphere in this, so I keep forgetting that I can run. Are there any downsides to running? Do you slip over or get not knackered? Really. Or... Right. No, not really. Um, it's, it's, I mean, it is a traditional point and click in a way, this, so it is just a case of interacting with the world. But I think unlike stuff like The Walking Dead or the Sam and Max games and stuff like that, it's getting colder. It's cold. Um, I do like the way this plays out. Um, let's have a look. 
The problem is I've got so far into the other one, I kind of forgot where I'm going on this version. Hello? Oh, there we go. There? I'm there. Okay. Um, this game's out fully now, is it? Yes. Uh, it's not an early access or anything. No, 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 no. This is out fully, I believe. And is it just on Steam? On PC? Or? No, uh, just PC, yes. Um, let's have a look. What's that? Let's have a look. That's right. So we're going to go. We can't open that because it's locked. We'll head this way. 1899. We spoke about this on the podcast. Uh, there's a lot of game here for 1899. Um, I think we're getting to the point now where we need to say, go over here, where we need to say, oh, it's an indie game, so it's got to be less than a tenner. Yeah, I mean it. It is a difficult one because it's style is very 1999 <laughs> but that doesn't necessarily make it any less worthy or bad in any way it's just um no emitting radio signal through plug suit i always say plug slot <laughs> it is it is very um is anyone there Shadow is running, this? isn't it? Yeah. Um, my, uh, I don't. I can't remember. My, I think those games come out for John. around fifteen quid Mar or something. Don't they? they come yeah. out. Um, uh, I'm. John. How did? Never mind. Do you get uh, weapons there. and things in this? Or? Kind of. Um, been... Not real time. <sighs> right. Battle death... weapons. A lot of this is exploration this is and discovery. No. Wait. Who are you? My name is Taya Hensley. What's the um the story like? How well written is it? Really well, actually. It's whereas most of it is told through interaction. I'll let him finish this bit, actually. Right, so we need to get to the tram. I'm just going to turn that sound down a little bit again. To try. Uh, yeah, a lot of it's told through interaction. At oh dear, I don't want to go in now. I'm gonna have to though. Let's go into the train where that weird shadowy thing moved, shall we? Um, Do not move. Attention. Tram terminal access will be granted once biological containment protocols have completed. Tell me where I am. Um, um, yeah, why they're talking. Um, there's a yeah. The, the contextual stuff is really good. Um, it doesn't try and rush anything, but it doesn't overly drag things on either. Um, you feel like you're you're always being stalked, which is an interesting thing. Um, this does a good job of not really blowing its load early on. Um, so this is the first point you actually meet someone else who is alive. Um, and again, a lot of the conversation is through this. Why would they need a ship for research? They have dozens of facilities. Human experimentation, fringe studies. Here, they can do well anything. What? Do you remember Fringe when it was on television? I need to find them now. The Fringe? No, just Fringe. Fringe. Um, no, I don't think so. Oh, I saw that went. Oh, it's got a reference to that as well. Warning. Biological right. scans are inconclusive. Also love the things like this. You do this, you go like, I'm just moving around. Emergency lights. Hmm. Emergency lights. I, I love it. Crates, just in case you can't tell. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really weird. I mean, the movement isn't sort of like hyper, sort of like realistically done or anything like that. Um, but it works. Um, spinning fan. Mm. Um, but you get little things, so you can go over to the fans over here if you so wish and look at them. Because who doesn't like looking at a good fan? Um, also, notice that Dyson didn't really take over in the future mm. world. We still have normal fans, so those air fans never took over. No cyclone action. No. 
Have you been in the toilets yet, though? I bet they've got air blades in the toilet. They might have. Not been in the toilets, though. Right, we have it. Whoa, we have a terminal. So we have a puzzle. Um, so we need to recharge the tram. So it's got it's got no power. And then we need to get onto the other line. So first of all, charging system inactive. That's fine. Right. So the line's active. So let's. We need to get the power levels up. I've got to remember how to do this. Oops. End of line. So we need to get that onto there, but we need to obviously get power to the tram. There we go. Breaker boxes. It's locked. If we can get into that one. I'll get into that one. That's John. Hello. What's the front? I don't know what I'm doing with uh, these box things, so you might want to bear that in mind. What box things? These break boxes you're trying to get me to fuck with. I don't know. Oh, yes, okay. Are uh, they like the fuse box things? I mean, I can turn those fuse box things on with one of them. It is. Let's see if Jones. we can get into that using... Drill? That's a massive drill. Not when it's in his hands. <sighs> Trust me, it's still a massive drill when it's in my hands. <laughs> see if we can use that on this one. It wouldn't let you do that. Did that work or not? That's no. not gonna work. Uh, see, this this kind of thing annoys me. The things that should work don't work in these games. Yeah, and it's um, it's the case with all of them. You find something where there's an obvious logical conclusion, but it's one the game hasn't thought of, so it won't let you do it. And it's like, well, in the real world, this is just what I'd do. Yeah, it happens in so many games. Sometimes you'll come up against a fence and you'll be like, I could clearly go over that fence, but because the game hasn't given me yeah. a jump button in this game, I can't get over the fence. Exactly, yeah. It's um... And it's, it's, it's the same kind of thing. It's like, well, there's an obvious solution here. Yeah, but... game logic doesn't always work. Um, but, you know, it kind of makes sense here. Sturdy metal locks. It's like keeping them. So we need something that can break a lock. You probably need a key, don't you? Oh, or dark. a screwdriver or something power. like that. Yes. There must be a way to get it up and running. Okay. Alright. I'll, I'll see what I can find. Yeah, see what you can find. Seating. Have a sit, John. Sit, John! Why won't I, you sit, I'm John? Sitting. John? John! I think I'm just depressed about the fact that I seem to have lost a lot of hair. Well, it's the future. It's a typewriter, isn't it? Looks like one, doesn't it? What's with the older uh, CRT green screen monitor in this futuristic tram thing? Well, do you know the film Alien, John, and Alien, oh. and then the, the less important ones where they had the modern old school technology? Yeah. I'm not saying this game has been influenced by that. But it has. But it has. Why is there some sort of like part of an Excel spreadsheet across the top there? Don't know. Tram drivers get bored. So they decided to have a little go in Excel when they're bored, do they? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't seem like that's the kind of thing that's going to help. Um, so we'll head back out here. So we need to find something we can use here. Now I'm trying to think what I've got in my inventory already and am I missing something? Um, let's go and have a look. Because I'm sure I've got everything I need here. Which is going to bug me. Yeah. Do you need to sellotape a couple of things together? That's sometimes something you need to do, isn't it? 
I've not really. Uh, there has been that, but that's usually obvious. It's like I picked up for my syringe before I needed to inject myself with some healthy stuff. Um, and it was clearly obvious. Look, here's the vial. Here's the syringe. Guess what you need to do to use it? So it's pretty obvious stuff. I've not noticed anything where it's like. Um, let's try it. Worked before. No, that's not going to work. Um, yeah, I've not noticed anything where it's a bit. Oh, right, that doesn't make I don't sense. Know I was thinking, man. No, nor do I, John. No, no I'm sure no, I've no got everything. That's bugging me. Stupidly enough, this was one of the puzzles I got stuck on on my first playthrough. And I still can't quite remember what I was doing. So I'm going to head back out here. There's probably something on a corpse somewhere that I missed. I think over here. Um, can I get anything out of these crates? No. Okay, let's head down here. I mean, it's, again, it's, this isn't an action game. No, I don't think it, um, it oh, comes across. Oh, I tell you what we need. I tell you what we need. Have a look at the information on here, John. Has he got a tag thing to get into something? He's security level 5. Cut his hand off. <laughs> oh, I knew I had to do that to someone at some point. I just couldn't remember where it was. So we've now got a hand. We'll run to get back. But yeah, progression in this isn't fast. Um, but it doesn't need to be. It's got. It has the balance spot on here. Um, I've got to remember where that room was. That was in the service lobby. And there is a lot of of this back and forth that goes on. Um, it, it still makes me laugh. It's a game design that was from the early Spectrum days with the likes of Dizzy. Um, and it's still around in today's games. Um, it's sort of never been changed. Um, but what I like... Oh dear, I've got to stop doing that. There we go, right. Yeah, what I really like about this is... And again, this is why I think it's good value for money. There are a number of hours here. Um, and if this was some kind of... Had a name like Assassin's Creed or Witcher 3 and was charged 20 quid for... People would be really happy. Oops, the yes. mortuary requires level 5 security access. Let's do that. Um, so, yeah, it's a, you know, it is an indie game. Access granted. But Welcome, the Yuri production Lenin. values are really good. It looks like it certainly achieved a style. Yes. Oh, it's cold in here. There you go, look. The mortuary. Iced over pools or... I think it's supposed to be cold. Iced over portal, iced over portal, iced over portal. Are you going to find some people in hibernation in there or something? Um, we'll have to wait and see. We've got some reports. They're probably the people, aren't they? But Jane Doe. Is she a Jane Doe or is her name actually Jane Doe? Actually, what would happen if you went some to the hospital and your name was actually John Doe? Um... I don't know. Depends why you've gone to the hospital, I suppose. Well, if your name's actually John Doe, but you've lost your memory. Um. Well, you wouldn't. I don't know. You wouldn't know, would you? If you'd lost your memory, you wouldn't know that was your name. But we get to learn a bit about some of these people that are in here. Thomas Roraka, I think that says. Roharaka? I don't know. Took a crowbar through the skull. How nice. Hmm. So these are dead people then? This yes. must be their, the, their morgue, I suppose. It's a mortuary, yes. Right. Alright, he's gonna go, oh, I can't open this. He needs to just sort of like breathe on it, doesn't he, to melt the ice a bit. Or we oh, can turn the furnace on. You could do that, yeah. Oh, Doesn't seem to be doing much, does it? 
Nope. Oh, hang on. If I remember this correctly. Uh, that's just crazy. Although... No. Ah, oh, maybe the... That was it. I just kind of like trying to see what my drill will do. Oh. Hey. Indistinguishable. All right, so it's. Need to do that portal. Oh, and on, and on, and on. That's the only pain sometimes, I must admit, is the, um... Maybe if it... No. No, that won't work. I thought you'd opened it. No, I, I turned the furnace on. Maybe I need to throw the hand in there or something. I can't remember! This is not... This is annoying me. So, that will open that. We know that. But... Can I get in it? <laughs> Alright, just leave it open. It'll warm up, won't it? Why is it closed again? I'm sure, look, that's probably a safety feature. Mm. Ah, this is bugging me, I can't remember. I mean, this is why these games always annoy me. I always really enjoy them for a couple of hours, and I just reach a point where something completely nonsensical happens, and it it's just pisses me off with them and then I just think no can't bother with it anymore no this does make sense on this one mm. oh hang on there you go chuck a body in there and burn that I'm so sorry I'm so so sorry Hand on there, so that's fine. Let's go over to that furnace again. I know there's something I've got to do here. I'm just trying to remember what it is. Hmm. It opens. I'm sure I had something I could put in there before. just not going to happen, is it? Uh, that's the iced over. Can you not... Do you need to oh. throw something in there then to make it burn, or...? Hang God, there we go, that's what it was. Then we open the furnace. Warning. There we go. Right. Oh dear. Oh yeah, I need to get out of the way. Oh. Oh, and now it shuts. You're dead. That's it. Stasis. Um, yeah. That was stupid on my part. Um, forgot I needed to get out of the way. So what I need to do this time is not stand in front of the open furnace. What is? What's this thing you're using now? A cold, wet towel. Alright, yeah, that'll do it. Oh, what an idiot. I forgot. <laughs> That's a rule for life, people. Don't stand in front of an open furnace. It will burn you alive. Warning. Move 
stay? There we go. Now you jump back. And they out. all open. That was it. Oh god. <laughs> Go and look at this cadaver. Look, I like this. It burnt the reports that were on the table. I have to admit that is a pretty good damn attention to detail. That. Hmm. And there's a the guy that took the crowbar to the head. So we can take that crowbar. See the um, the gay aforementioned Stacy is a very fussy girl, but that dead body is so attractive, I reckon it cadaver. That's not bad, I like that one. I'll give you that one, John. Alright, right, so we'll go down. And you'll never guess where we can use this crowbar. So once again, something crowbarable, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Maybe a circuit breaker box? Probably on a very limited array of items that the game has decided crowbars can be used on as opposed to all the things in the real world that you could just crowbar. Yeah. I think the problem is, well, I mean, this is a very heavily scripted game. Uh, this is not open world by any stretch of the imagination. Um, let's go back in here. Uh, yeah, it's not open world at all. Um, so I think if it started allowing you to use crowbars on any old shit, what you'd find is it would probably break the game. What if you just used a crowbar on the game? You'd be doing it a very big disservice then. Because it's a damn good game, John. There you go. What I love, sorry, need to do this animation again. Sorry, I picked this up first time round. You've got to see this. What I love, obviously, he could not open this circuit breaker box without the crowbar. You ready? Yeah. Watch this. Ready? It opens before he hits it. Let's see. That's just brilliant. See, this is how you get much more enjoyment from these games than I do. because I That would piss you off, wouldn't it? I, well, I just wouldn't even notice or care. I just. Number one circuit breaker line. And I... You've got to pop a little spring in that broken bit, haven't you? I bet I've got to find a spring. So that's the. There's, what, isn't there one hanging up on the left? On the left? What's that spare spring hanging up? Yeah, it won't let me grab that at the moment. I'll just take that one out instead. There we go. Then if we take. It's not letting me pick that one up, so that's fine. It's got to remember the order I've done this. Uh, yeah, there's a very early puzzle where you've got to use a robotic arm and you've got to... Ah, there we go. We can now use... That to charge. No, you can't do anything. Let's back out then. Let's go to the computer terminal. Yes, we know it's. So, what have we got here? Oh, look. That's the one. Yeah, little. there's slight little annoying things here where it won't let you. Um... There always are in these games. Yeah. Um, and that's what go. puts me off these games as a. Genre, yeah, it wouldn't allow me to use my inventory while I was in that puzzle. Mm. Okay, the tram's powered. I see it. Give me a second. Blah, 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 blah. I'm setting your destination to the medical wing. Going to a medical wing. Maybe the green wing. That was a thing, wasn't it? Some TV program, wasn't it? Yeah. You got your fuse back. Yeah. And I've got to remember to do it outside. Yeah, that's the only thing. When you're in the puzzles and you know you've got to use something, it doesn't allow you to use them. Mm. 
until you've come back out, which can be a little annoying at times, but... Destination set. Start the tram. Be on your way. What the uh, hell's going on here? You need to get in the tram, don't you? Okay. To get in the tram. Get in the tram. I forgot. Yeah, come run. Must keep remembering I can run if I so see fit. I, I mean, like this, is, this is a game you'd play late at night when it's raining outside and it's 1999. Yeah. I'm not sure any other time is appropriate. How long? How long no. Um, it's why you sit down and you play for a good few hours. Um, but I mean, this is pretty much what the game is. It goes very. The puzzles get more complex, uh, but they don't just constantly go complex. It does mix it with some easy stuff. Um, the atmosphere is just oozing from the game the further you go. Uh, the story. The reason I want to start early is not long uh, beyond this point. The story really takes a couple of turns and just, well, you're just to the point you're going, whoa, wow, okay. Mm. I'm invested. Um, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah, well, whereas at the start John lacks character, right? Um, as you progress, you start to learn a lot more about him and about his family. There we go. Milan, let's talk about this. This was the last straw. I'm coming for you next. And as for your little end. Warning. Brakes disabled. Low pass filters disabled. Oh, look, something's gone wrong. That's not good. An evacuation yeah. is advised. He's going to be around the track. Drop on something. Hold on to summit, John. Cutscene. Yeah, that's probably my biggest bugbear with this game, actually, is the cutscenes. It doesn't feel like it's in the same to uh, the same manner as the game itself. It doesn't. It just almost takes you out of that immersion slightly. Um, but yeah, they're few and far between, actually. So. So the next stage. As we come to it, will be it loads. There we go. Trying to escape that tram. Mm. It looks um, John? it looks pretty good if you like that kind of thing. So That's it. Yeah, it's if point and click isn't your sort of thing this isn't going to do anything to change that um, but i i'm kind of weird with point and click i didn't really get on with the sam and max games or the is it deponia games and stuff like that didn't really get on with them but this the walking dead stuff like that but this especially i really enjoy i really enjoy I sometimes, rarely, but sometimes sort of fancy a game like this, but like I say, I always play them for a couple of hours and then just get annoyed. Yeah, I mean, as I said, it's, the puzzle you've just seen me do is probably one of the more obtuse puzzles that you will come across. Um, and if you look at it logically, it still made a lot of sense in what you were doing. Um... I think if you've played a lot of these, then you, you already know how to correctly second-guess everything that you might be expected to do. Yeah. I think a lot of it is um, the point-and-click mechanics. It's like, you see something in a Mario game, and you know what you have to do before yeah. someone that hasn't played it. Like, how did you know to do that? And it's like, because they always put a pipe up there. Exactly. And, uh, I think these games have the same kind of yeah. Flawed logic that if you play a lot of them, you're just aware of. 
yeah, I mean, one thing that would be nice with stuff like this, and this should be maybe an option that you can turn on and off, um, is when you're fiddling around with a puzzle and the game can maybe tell you've clicked that same area a few times and not got the result you need to have. Mm. Maybe if it turned around and said something along the lines of, maybe I need to use something wet or something right. to jam this door open or something like that. Mm. Uh, because you know you discovered like I got the key card that opens that door and that stays open, um, and just if it goes like well, you found that you've been you've been here a good five minutes, um, get him to say something in the top right hand corner maybe just the, those little clues nothing that just goes oh yeah oh yeah we use a wet towel on here, um, but just something that might give you that little hint that little nudge, um, but, but it, it's again. It's, yeah, I can see it from your point of view as someone who probably isn't into these or doesn't play these all that often. Um, and I can see that maybe hand-holding would piss off people who love these sort of games. You see, with the wet towel thing, I, what I would have thought with that is that, oh, I'll, I'll drape myself in it so that when I open it, it's not as instantly hot. Yeah. That's what my thing is. Not like, oh, I'll use it to jam the door open or whatever it was. Yeah, it? I mean, a wet towel's an odd thing to, that's going to keep yeah. a big door I mean, like that think, open. Oh, a crowbar might do that. But no, you use your wet towel. Yeah, well, you didn't get the crowbar until afterwards, oh, did right, you? Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> but i now got to find a key. 2151. We left in 2148. That's a porn three poster on the wall there. These bastards had us here for three years. The bastards. I wonder what the poster's of. An unremarkable poster. Sounds just like my bedroom when I was in school. Uh -huh. I didn't have pictures of semi-naked, naked, semi-naked naked semi, uh, semi women in bikinis. No, I had boring posters. I had lots of posters of <laughs> um, sweaty men um, like Eddie Vedder or borderline middle-aged men at the time who are pro probably actually just as old as I am now with um, like bald middle-aged man like Michael Stipe on my walls fair enough I never really had um, never really had women on the walls because it was a bit too uh, just thought it was a bit embarrassing really to have me, lots of women but, but it was fine to have lots of posters of sweaty uh, men I'm not sure what to call it. cloning vat of organic sludge look at that that's a description for you. What's that moving? Something's moving in there. It's alive. So I do like so it does it sometimes because you might not have noticed that moving up in that corner originally. Um, let's just go and have a look at this dead body first. Oh no. I think you've stumbled upon Tory HQ. <laughs> right, I can't. Destroyed. Ah, right, I need to get across there somehow. There we go. I thought that was too easy. So, I mean, so it gives you those little bits there. It's again, it's a shame it doesn't give you those clues after a while um, to what to do more. Oh, it still has fuel in it. Luck at last. We turn this construction light on. No. Generator. There you go. Clearly not going to work. You're obviously going to need to electrify all that stuff in the middle, aren't you, somehow? Yeah, I'm just... It's all box. That's handy, isn't it? Ah, there we go. Now. <laughs> I don't think that worked for that guy. 
Is that the dead guy, do you think? I'm assuming so. That's brilliant. Uh, I'm going to take to swim across the vat. Uh, uh, brilliant. No, your wife doesn't deserve it. So he tried to swim across that vat and couldn't. It's a warning for you, isn't there? Okay, so the generator is going to there. So maybe if we turn that generator on. Trying to work out what that's... <sighs> what do I have here in my inventory? If in doubt. Do you really want to be waking up all of these clone things that are in there? No, but I know what I do want to do. Do you know what I want to do, John? <sighs> what do you want to do? Uh, what? Okay, now we use that. You can tell me what you want to do. You'll find out. You should know. This is you, John. I'm, I'm just under your control at this point. Now. Okay. Now let's see what I can do. Oh yes! Oh no! Let's be broke the wires. Come on, John. Syringe and some wires. <laughs> yeah, why not? I need to put something on there. What about your drill? I broke that. Uh, remembering stuff. Maybe if I crowbar it again? No, it won't let me go to those exposed wires, but it will let me go to the generator. What do I need? He doesn't want to touch those exposed wires. Do you know what I've lost? I've lost my shard of glass. Oh no. I bet I could cut those wires with that glass. Okay. It's always annoying when you go out with your shard of glass and then forget where you put it. Of course, if I wasn't an idiot. <sighs> this ain't working. Oh no, okay. Oh man. That's my drill. This isn't going to work. Oh, fuck you, John. What have I done now? Might have worked. Crash tram? Thought a crash tram. Hmm, I could use this. Right.
Will you use the bloody wires, John? No, I don't. I don't I like them. Just break it. Stop being safe. I think this is just the sort of annoying point I'd give up at. Because it's not. It's not a conventional sort of hmm. challenge, is it? Maybe. It's just a trial and error sort of no. what nonsensical thing that will make some sort of sense in hindsight do I need to do here? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Just crowbar it. If nothing else works, just crowbar it. Oh, it doesn't work like that. Maybe I can make shadow pockets. There we go. I remember looking this bit up. Oh. Uh, before. Hmm. Probably not a good idea. How did I then use this? <sighs> <sighs> Come on, chat. Keys to the toolbox. What have we got in the toolbox? Wires, I bet. Go. Go, and we will attach that wire. To the jumper cable. To the... This goes on here. And this goes over here. And then we fry the shit out of everything. On that bombshell. We will just get over here. Wasn't as spectacular as I thought it was going to be, but okay. Oh, you can wander across that now, can you? Let's find out. Here Still wouldn't want to. Just. Uh, just stay above the. Water. That's a loose term, really, isn't it, Walter? I wouldn't go swimming in that. Bloody handprints. See, this takes a American than that. It's like, uh, oh, bloody handprints. Oh, uh, look, they're bloody. If this was Australian, that's be someone complaining about handprints. Uh, yeah, uh, we've got a couple more puzzles coming up, so I think that'll be a good place to call it. Um, this isn't going to change your mind, John. 
If you're not no. into these sort of games, it's not going to change your mind. If you've got any interest in these sort of games, this is sublime. Um, and I, I love this game. Um, I also love the fact that I've gone back after, what, uh, 20 hours of play or thereabouts and can't remember what I did. Mm. Um, so it, it, it does feel like I'm playing from start again. Um, but yeah, I, I love this. Um, 18.99 in uh, UK Great British Pounds. Um, well worth it. As I said, if this was from a major studio um, and had you know a different name attached for it, so if, it, if this was like a Dead Space isometric point and click game, people would have been raving and gone, yeah, 20 quid's a great price. Um, so just because it's an indie don't let that put you off you like these sort of games it's going to provide a challenge and there's easily 20 quids worth of value in this minimum there you go so that's that's stasis um so i'm going to put john back in his tube until yeah. our next quick look see y'all goodbye <laughs>